today we're going to be doing uh, how to play and play through of Brian Boru. So this is a very strategic game, but it has very simple mechanics. So it's um, a lot of fun because it's it's got a lot of uh, little steps to it, but they're easy. It has a great player aid, so it's very easy to um, remember the steps. And plus on the back of the book, it has the steps and the symbols. So it's um, easy to reference if you do need to reference it. So the quick setup, we're doing a three player game. Um, we each chose a color, so you get all the colored discs of your chosen color. You get a renown token and three coins to start the game. Um, each player puts a disc of their color here in this circle for the marriage track. And then they also put the color disc on the number 10 on the scoring track. The person with the most score at the end of the game is the one that wins. So you're trying to gain points throughout the game by performing um, the phases and actions, um, gaining tricks so you can gain more regions or towns, which and have majority in regions, I guess you should say, um, to get more points. And you're also trying to, um, if you can, get the most um, of your disc in the church, get the most of these, what are these little things called? Viking tokens. Viking tokens. Um, that gets you points at the end of each round. There's three rounds, and the way you know the end of the round, there's three marriage cards that will be popping up when the princess appears. That is the last round. Um, the marriage track, you have action cards that will allow you to move up on the marriage track. You get choices of the actions you want to do. Um, one of the choices on some of the cards is moving up on the marriage track. So as you can see, there's rewards to the left of those. And the person that's highest up on the track at the end of each round gets to take the marriage card that is up for that round. And you can see there's benefits at the bottom. You get those immediately. And the princess one... She has several choices. You can take just four points and discard her. You can do established trade, which um, is where you get to basically count any town that has the, where the Vikings take control at the end of the game. You can count that as you having a one of your discs in a region and you count that towards your score at the end of the game when we're calculating how many discs you have or how many regions you have a disc in. So, and it depends on the number. Like if you have it in all eight regions, you'll get 10 points at the end of the game. So that could be very helpful if there's a lot of those Viking to um, tokens on top of other people, on people's towns. You could take control of those or you can flip it over and do military support and that's where you get to, in a one region, get to choose um, all the ones that the Vikings have taken over if you want to claim those. Because if, say, you um, don't have majority in a region, but if you had one or two more, you could. So if you claim those, that might give you the majority in that region, and you would get to claim this the tile that corresponds to that and get the points. And what I'm talking about these tiles, there's two sides. The gray side means it's not been activated. The gold side means that there's enough discs, that have enough towns with discs on them in a region to activate it. The number here by this little, um, little what would you call that? Little yeah. shape. It's a shape with three colors in it. There's a number beside it. So this means there has to be three discs inside of this region, the Southern Unil. Once there's three discs in that region, it's activated. So whoever has majority would get this token. You flip it over, and that means five points at the end of the game. And this will be switching if, for any reason, during the game, someone else takes over majority. You're going to be checking at the end of each round. Whoever has majority for regions that have been activated gets the tile. Um, if if there's a tie for majority, 
no one gets it. So it would go back here until someone has majority, right? I mm -hmm. am correct on that. Okay. Then um, on the the church space, all this is determined in the upkeep upkeep phase. But you're going you're trying to get the most discs in here because you will get a monastery ring, and you get to put that around any of your towns of choice, one of your towns. If you put that around your one of your discs, it then counts as two rather than one. So that's very helpful when you're calculating majority. Um, you automatically have an ex like it's like you have an extra disc in that region. Um, and there's other benefits of having the most. You will also get uh, the active player ring, which allows you to go first next round and choose um, where you want to put it on the board. And you get to play the first action card, which we will be playing that during uh, the action phase or where we are actually playing cards to try to take tricks. And that's how you get a lot of the benefits by either you get benefits whether you, whether you win or lose. It's just it, on the card, the person that wins the trick gets the benefits on the top of the card. And the person that loses, the people that don't win, they get their choice of one of the two options on the bottom of the card. So there's always a reward um, during that phase. It's just obviously the person who wins a trick gets better benefits. But there's always a way to advance in the game even if you don't win the tricks. Some of them allow you to, and all these symbols, like I said, are in the back of the book. So like this two right here, it gets to put two discs in the church space. So you already have two discs there. And again, remember, if you have the most at the end of the round, you're going to get the most benefits. Same with here. If you have the most of these Viking tokens at the end of the round, you're not only you're all going to get a renown token, you get to add a point for each renown token that you have. Um, so you, there's a lot of benefits of having the most of these things and you're gaining those through the action cards. There'll be symbols down here that you get to choose of which one would benefit you at the moment. Um, then there's also the, let's see, make sure. So here, let me go about what phases they are. There's the preparation phase. We've already done that. You reveal the next Viking card. And as you can see, there's a 10 on the bottom. That means you put 10 Viking tokens in the battle phase, battle space. Um, and then that's all that card does. It just tells you how many Viking tokens to put in there. Then you um, reveal the next marriage card. We've already done that. You're supposed to put these to the side and put one on the space, but due to um, video limitations, the we're just setting them all right there and we will just reveal them right on top of each other. Then you deal in a three player game, eight cards to each person. These are the action cards. We're gonna be drafting. So I'll, we'll be choosing two, passing them to the left, choosing two, and you keep doing that until every, to you basically end up with the same amount of cards you started with, but it's eight cards that you've chosen. Um, then there's the action phase. And that's where the person with the first player token, which is Quentin, he will choose where he wants to place it on the board. Whatever color he places it on is the color card he has to start the trick with. So we'll be playing tricks. So say he played this six that's a blue. Um, then Anthony and I would need to play cards. We do not have to play the same color. You can play any color you want. But to win the trick, you either have to have this same color with a higher number or there's white cards. Um, look at the colors, make sure I'm, yep, wow. So my hand that I was dealt has a lot of the white cards. Of course, we're going to be passing those. I'm not going to be able to keep all yeah, of those. Yeah, I wasn't doing any. <laughs> This hand, that's why I had to make sure it has four of them. I was like, is, is that the white? <laughs> so the white ones are, lucky. are wild. And so those basically um, always win if the number is higher. So if, if this was played, even though it doesn't match, 
that would beat that because it's a higher number. White is always dominant um, as long as it's a higher number. But the active player has to follow and play the same color of wherever they put this token. And the significance of that token, other than that, whoever wins the trick gets to um, put their disc there. So that's a very uh, basic. Is that where you get you get to put your, or is it the? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, you do. Yeah, because you take it, right? And then you place it again, mm -hmm. correct? Okay, yeah, yeah. let's make it sure I'm right on that. So whoever wins the trick puts their token there. Then they take this, place it on another one. Then that space is up for grabs. So as you can see, winning the tricks are very beneficial. Plus, you get a lot of great rewards on the top of your card. Um, then there is the, we just keep doing that till we played all of our cards. Then there's upkeep phase, and that's where you determine who gets the rewards for the marriage, the battle, and the church step. And then you look through all the regions and see if anyone gets to claim those. So it's a really simple game, um, a lot of strategy. So we're gonna just start playing. If um, I don't think I missed anything, but if I did, it will be covered. No, I can buy two. And if you want a really great um, how to play video, uh, Watch It Played always does a great how to play videos. He, if you want to skip reading the book, you could literally watch his video and just start playing. I think it's like, it's like a 20 minute video. Yeah. yeah. So um, definitely the easiest way to learn this game. And then all you need to do is just reference the book if you want or need to um, when you're playing. So we're gonna start off by Choosing two. You mean those white ones? <laughs> I don't want to give up to you. <laughs> I'm passing. Why do you have cards in your hand? Right. You want to keep your cards you chose. Why do you, did you put one or two down? Two. Okay. You keep the cards you chose separate. You don't want to add those to the cards that you're passing. Okay, so. Whoa, it's powerful card. Okay. I don't know how many white cards there are, but I'm pretty sure I got all of them in the hand. <laughs> okay, and so the last two, obviously, I don't get to choose because uh, we put, I have this eight cards back. Okay, so. So now we're on the action phase. Quentin um, places the active player marker wherever he would would like to go first, or the card he wants to play first, actually. Okay. It's gonna be a tough card to beat. Your turn, man. Okay. <laughs> you can't beat it. That's color. Hmm? That's your to color to beat it. Yes! I won. What do you mean? I'm 23. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. Wait. <laughs> I won! I do have to pay two coins, though. And as you can see, the top action on every card um, see that symbol? That means take control of the active town. So that's what tells you, you put your disc there. So Quentin got it. So he gets to, but he has to pay two coins. That one is a, not all of them make you pay. As you can see, the others, you, this one, you gain two coins. And um, this one, if you won, you get to gain that. Put two discs in the church. You gain a coin and you take over the active town. Of oh, course, it's a three. It would be really to, hard to yeah. win. You're a pro level if you could do that. But as you can see, the higher the number, be the, pretty good. the less the rewards. The lower the number, the greater the rewards. But they're very, they're harder to win, which is why. So Quentin, you took your rewards, right? So then you just discard that. Did you do your? Did you choose yours? That's yours. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> so I can choose to get two coins. 
And I do not know. I can spend want. five to control a, a town that's connected to a disc I already have. Um, it has to be connected by a road, which you can see Anthony already um, is a pain in my side because that's the only road that's connected to mine. <laughs> so he did that on purpose. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I can't even use that action. So I think I'm going to move up two on the marriage track, which is right here. <laughs> And so I'm purple. And the important thing to know on the marriage track, so say Quentin moved two, or was able to move two. He cannot move on top of me, nor can he pass me. So he has to move right behind me. So technically that would stop, that would, he would only get to move one. So you need to make sure when you're moving up the marriage track um, that you're able to move up and there's ways you can pay is it two coins to move up an extra one uh, i believe let's see let me look here all right well while you're doing that i'm gonna do nine i'm gonna get three oh spend two coins per space yeah so you could spend additional coins to move up one extra space so that's a way to move past the person that's blocking you so what did you take? Three coins. So, and at least you hurt yourself too. So he couldn't take this. He took the three coins, but he didn't. You don't have to take all the options. He was not able to place a disc for five coins in the um, town joined by a road. Okay, so Quentin won that trick. So he takes the active token, player token and he places it somewhere else on a city of a color that he wants to lead with. So he has to start with red. Okay. Actually, no. I'm going to start somewhere different. What's a place that's like the worst place? And you can see right now he's dominating Here. Linster. I don't know how you pronounce that. Okay, so. I'm going to do that for coins. Okay. So I won that trick. So I put my disc on that space. I take the active player token. And I have to pay a coin. And that's all I get. So Quintum played the one, right? Mm -hmm. So what did you do? Get the free coins. Are you doing paying five to place enough. a disc? Okay. I just got the. And Anthony readers. took. Well, let me show them. As you can see, there's two little axes. He took two of the Viking tokens. Um. So he's. Do, right now he's in the lead on that. Okay. So I get to choose. Here. Okay. Oops. Okay, so Anthony won that, that trick. So he all he gets is he gets to put his disc there and he gets the active player token. I get um, to choose to get a coin and I could spend five if I had them to put a disc on an adjoining. Actually, I we could do it here, I think, couldn't I? Nope, I couldn't even do that. So I'm going to take the three Viking tokens. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. And then Quentin's doing three. Okay. The cool thing is about us taking the Viking tokens, if there's none in here at the end of the round, no one loses a town to the Vikings. If there's any Viking tokens left in this, then whoever has the least amount loses a, a town. So Anthony gets to start this round. Well, that's unbeatable. What are you playing, little guy? I don't know where you're putting them next to all of these. Keep knocking that one over. OK, 
Okay, so Anthony won. He has to pay two coins and he gets to take over that town. So Quentin is putting three discs in the church. And then I'm going to take three coins. And I don't think I have a town joined by a road that I can place anything on. So I'm just going to accumulate coins. So Anthony gets to go first. You're showing me your cards. Huh? Okay. So I won that one. So I get two coins and I get to finally place a disc somewhere. <laughs> that's like the, that's the part that gives you the least point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I go next. His was not in the same What is color. that part of? Oh, none of, we did, none of us had ours there last time. At least I have majority. Okay, so uh, is this you? Yeah. So I think it's two coins. Are you paying five? Yep. To put a disc on an adjoining yep. location? One, two, three. Okay, and Quentin got three on the marriage track. Okay, so I was able to go first. Oh, we gotta let him play first. I have to play a white one, huh? No, Actually, play yeah. any color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to play red. Yeah, I was for I, That was my red. Yeah. So, does that beat? White always wins, right? Oh, actually, no, no. He would win because it's red. It's playing as red. Okay, so he gets, he has to pay two coins. And he gets control of that town. Where, where the one was I fighting for? Right there. <laughs> right? Or was that right there? No, it's right there. Okay. And then I get two coins and I get to place one that's joined by a road. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to here. And then Anthony's getting two coins, and he doesn't have enough to do the road. So, if, or Quentin leads. Yeah, this is a really fun, a strategic game. Okay, so I won, so I have to pay a coin, and I get to put my disc there. Um, Wait, which one's you baiting me? Anthony chose to get the three uh, discs on the church, and what are you doing? The marriage track? Mm -hmm. He's going for love. <laughs> okay, so... I have none of these. I can't even get the fourth. I can't believe you're baiting me. So which one is this in? Is it in? It's oh, obviously actually, it's, now. It's one. Okay, it's this one. Got it. So since Quinn and I are tied for here, no one gets um, majority of that. Anthony right now has majority of this one. So I'm going to go for this one. And hope for luck. No. 
So Anthony got that. And I get coin. And he gets a coin. Okay. So I can get, oh, let's see. I'm going to take the two Vikings. And Quentin going high up on the marriage. You may have been better off to take the coins. You're already in top on the marriage. You realize that. Yeah, that didn't gain you anything. It gets him the card. I he like... already had the card. See what I'm saying? No, I'll get that. No, you don't. First place only gets the marriage card. Oh, I'm going to so get the coins. There's no value for you to go further because I can't. I've already did my reward. I can't pass you. So he's going to get the three coins. Are you going to? Spend five to put a disc on an adjoining area? Yes. Okay. Stopping you from invading mm -hmm. me anymore. Oh, uh, you're not, that's not connected to you. Oh, put yeah. it there. Okay. So that's the action phase. Now we're doing the upkeep phase. And again, that's on the back. So the marriage step. Quentin is highest up on the track, so he moves all the way down here, but he gets the marriage card, and right now he gets um, to put a disc anywhere in the southern O'Neill. He gets to put his disc there. Any town. Here, this town. And he gains two points on the track. And so this one is discarded. So move his up two points. Okay, then we're doing, and all other players just get what's on our track, but I don't move down, I stay there, and I get one coin. So I'm already in the lead for the next round. Then we have the battle step. There's no Viking tokens in here, so no one loses a town. That's good and bad, <laughs> since I had the most. Um, so I get one, I have the most Viking tokens. I have five. I have three. I have four. So I get a renowned token and I get to score a point for every renowned token I have. So I get two points. I get one point. And then the. No, you don't. Uh -huh. Then um, I have to return all my Viking tokens. That's the bad part about that. Yes. And then the next person gains one point and retains, returns one Viking. But the good thing for you, you already have three for the next round. Unfortunately, so does Daddy, but okay. Then it's the church step. Whoever has the most discs, neither of them, so nobody gets anything. So we remove it, don't we? Um, can you let Denny's, I don't know if you do or not. If two players are tied, these effects are not resolved, and skip, instead you skip to the next reward. No. So, nothing happens. All right. Nice day. You're just yeah. ahead for next time. <laughs> then there's a the claim region step. So, I definitely have the Dublin one. So, I get to take that one, put that in my area, because there's only required two. This one requires four discs, the yep. Leinster. Uh -huh. You don't get monster you So yeah, more Quentin gets that one. Yes. Um Knopf, there's five here. And Anthony has majority. There's not enough here, not enough here. So that's the only ones that have been activated. And for now we we have those, but we could lose them. Anthony already dealt our next eight cards. Um, so now you do the next preparation phase. You turn over the next Viking and the next marriage card, and we put 14 wow. battle tokens wow. in that area. So it's going to be harder to remove all those. Someone will probably lose a pound. <laughs> and then we do the draft phase. Okay. Draft the oh, These white cards like me. Why do you get so many of them? I don't know. They like me. Why? Come <laughs> 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 take those. In the same ones as 
the last time. Your gift. <laughs> Is it a good gift? No, he didn't get a good gift. <laughs> Ooh, I got a good gift. So I get to go first, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got one. Mm -hmm. We battling for that now? I like going last. You're supposed to be the one person to battle for that one. Wait, I have no coins. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Where is it? Right there. Okay, so I have to pick coins and I get to take over. I'm gonna take three coins. Okay. I'm taking three leaves. I need some more gold. Secondary rewards. Yeah, I need to decide where I'm placing this. Might as well keep on battling there or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Well, I can't beat that. Why would you play that? Actually. <laughs> okay. So I get, I have to pay two coins. It stinks when you have to pay coins. Again, three coins. Place two there. Why did you take all the cards? I just moved them here. Oh, okay. Again, three coins and I'm doing the round. Okay. I moved them so we could see the board. Okay, so what are you doing? You, I already did. You took the church. Mm -hmm. Then right. You have to put it an adjoining to a road. Oh yeah, so. Just don't get to put it wherever you want. Okay, <laughs> so at least you're not invading me. Anthony just makes up his own rules. <laughs> really? <laughs> are you gonna go for there? Mm -mm. Why? Hey, who's? Oh, she's the purple. She's got like the whole, uh, she's got to do some trade. <laughs> so you got the trade wow? Yeah. Okay, so that's red. I thought you said you weren't going to go there. Boom! <laughs> that was a wrong idea. Okay, so Quinn <laughs> has to pay two coins and he gets to place his disc there. Oh, wow. Well. I've not gotten lucky on those white cards doing that. Okay, I should be I only have you. one option. I get two coins and I don't have enough to place a disc. Yeah, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna put two. I won. I won. Oh, yeah. Do I have to pay? Yeah. I'm not gonna let you get majority. Actually, wait, I can't do that one. There. Okay, so Anthony gets uh, that space. Which one are you taking? Coin. Okay. So we only get one coin. I know. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take, uh, do I even have a chance? Wait, let me look here. No, there's no reason. I'm going to take three coins. And I'm going to spend five to place a disc somewhere. My turn. Bad one over that. <laughs> it's pointless. OK, 
think so. World domination. And get a coin. <laughs> Gotta gain two Vikings. And I'm gaining two Vikings. Okay. Copycat. All right. Can I ever beat you on the Vikings? Go for one of these. Mm -hmm. Once you go in there, you could nope. win it. I don't think I can win it. My lowest cards for, for my highest card for um, yellow is five. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought he had a white one. Wow, you guys gave it to me. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put two of them. In here. Alright. Okay. <laughs> no! 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 Go back! Go back! No. <laughs> I saw your face. It gave it all away. No. <laughs> You're way too pleased. I might as win. Okay, so you put your disc there and you get pay two coins. No. So you went that's yours and I'm gonna move Two on the marriage track. Forgot about the marriage track. Okay, so where are you putting the disc? You have to play yellow. Yellow. You have to put somewhere red. Okay. You gave him that one. So you have to pay two coins. Quinn's taking two coins. I didn't want to win. And I'm going to put... Put two in the monastery, even though it doesn't... That's going to hurt something the monastery. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so that is all with the action phase. So now we do the marriage you step. You chicken it out on that one. I get the marriage card. Have to move down. Yeah, Wait, we're not there yet. Oh, actually, yeah. So oh, I get to place um, one anywhere in Connaught. Where is that? Ooh, that helps. Um, I would put it there, so block him. It doesn't block him, and I get two points. Okay, so one. Okay, and that one goes out in the game. Now we do the battle step. They are, who has the most? I have many. So Anthony gets to choose one of my towns. So all red, all these. <laughs> yep. Cool. You get to choose which town of mine you want to have the Viking take over. Okay, and you get a renown token and you gain a point for each renown token that you have. Okay, um, the second most you get rid of one. Yeah. He gets a renown token. And no, he, just, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't. He gains one point and he returns one Viking. Okay, one point. And then we return all of these. So you're green. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you get your coin? No. So he gets to stay there and he gets a coin. Then we do the church. So who has the most? Quentin has the most on the church. So. He gets to place a monastery on any of his towns. He takes the active town marker away from Anthony. <laughs> and he removes all of his discs. And Anthony has the next to highest, so he gets to gain one point. And he has to retrieve one disc. I know, get that one. And if it's anyone... Kind of double. Uh, oh, and if you have four or more at this point, you get to place 
a monastery, but you have to take out all your discs. So you get that, but you have to remove all your discs from the monastery, from the church. All right, I will. I, I got that one because I got double for that one. Mm -hmm. And then we do the claim regions. So this one has five. All right, so Anthony has that one. This one does not, this one does have five, right? Yeah. So he gets that one too. He's got that one. This one has four, but Quentin and I are tied, so no one gets it. I already have that one. The Southern Neil, Quentin still has majority. And the rest have not been activated. Okay, so now we go to, Anthony already did the preparation phase. This is the last round because the princess is showing. He put the battle tokens for the Viking card that appeared. And now we're gonna do our drafting phase. It's a close game on points right now, but mm -hmm. Anthony has two, 14 points right now if he continues to hold these two. This is scary. You got a 12 or 11. You have the best chance of taking him down. I'm also going to take him down. I'm not doing that well. Okay. Need to win these. What are you doing? Oh, I need to grab another one. Yeah. Okay. This is next. All right, so Quentin has the active town marker. We put it on a, oh, never mind. I was confused. <laughs> confused. Quentin get, has to pay two coins, and he gets that town, and he gets the token back. I'm going to move three up on the, yes. I'm going to pay two to move an additional one. I move two, the marriage track. You're such a thorn. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. <laughs> and if you saw his little grin, yeah. So what what color is this blue? <laughs> I'm taking three <laughs> battle tokens. Two up in the mare's track. I'm sorry. Wow, I'm doing good. Okay. I'm unbeatable. Your turn. Mm -hmm. Wait, you put it on top of mine. You can't put it on top of one that's a re Oh, where is it? The red? He never said it. Oh, he put his disc there instead. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Pre premonition. Well, okay, so it <laughs> puts his there. I, don't know why. I saw it. I didn't even notice. <laughs> I didn't notice you ever. Okay, so I played this one. So I'm gonna take the two coins. But that's mine. Oh. Yeah, that's mine. They both have the same secondary. You gonna gain a coin? My turn. Mm -hmm. Whoa, you can't be invading. Say, she's invading my fan again. Okay, and I get a coin, an axe, yeah. or if I can token, I guess. Yeah, three coins. How are you doing, Quinn? Did you redo yours? I'm gonna get the um, coins. Two coins. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. And how do you remove these again? Oh, if it has that with an X, you can remove one. I see, I see. Got it. My turn. Yeah, let him play first. It's better to wait, see what he plays. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it cost me two coins. I'm gonna gain two three coins two. and then but pay for the five thing. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. Five. So I have two coins, and then I'm placing it here. Make sure to go fast before you placed it. Mm-hmm. Sure, you couldn't invade my laid town. Mm-hmm. I'm placing my right here. Okay. I basically got this. Oh, so I won it. So where's the? You didn't win it. Oh yeah. Can be tough. Can I let him get that one? Okay. Wait, I'm uh, having a hard time. We're planning. I would say. <laughs> Come on, of course he's getting that one. Hmm? Of course he's getting the marriage card. Okay. It's blue. It's blue. Dang it. It's not paying one. I'm gonna take the two coins. What are you doing? Oh good, he won. Yes. Two coins. Okay. Okay, my turn. No, I'm gonna only have one left because I'm gonna go for there. I do not want him to get back. Alright, so who won? Me. Ah. Good, no one can get that one. Thank you. 
misschien. Kan. Okay. Kan misschien de coin. And I have to pay two coins. Yeah, let's go for one coin. Okay. So that's the end of the round, end of the action phase. So we're doing marriage. So Anthony gets that. He gets to just decide whether he wants to just take the four points or use it. Um, there's only one of these out there right now. So, but there will be more. I have to choose now? There will be another one. Yeah. Um, There'll be one more of these out there by the, by the next step. You will be the one losing one of your cities. And since they have, Quentin and I are tied, you get to choose which the city. The military support. But that's the one where you get to use that as a. Yeah. As, so you get to choose which city of yours gets the Viking because we're tied. Yeah. Okay, so now it's a battle step. Neither of us get anything because we're tied. It's a bummer. <laughs> um, so actually, it goes to one, both of you, or actually, not, it goes to me, huh? It's also the lowest. Yeah, you have to choose and cover up one of yours. So we don't get anything. Do that one. So we're effective, right? Well, it doesn't matter what I do, that's all mine. Go soon, do that one. This kid, I would have the thing. I guess three points. <laughs> Actually, two. yeah, three. Okay. I may or may not. <laughs> yep, nothing is rewarded. Nothing. Actually, I'm going to do the support, or the four points. All right. Okay, so on the church, I have the most. So I get to place a monastery ring somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's more idea. He's in the That's lead. gonna make you win. He's in the lead. Who would you ever win, Anthony or? It doesn't matter. It's me. <laughs> no, Anthony or me. If you had a choice. This one. Yeah, because that that would give me majority. No. Right. Yeah, and you have the yeah you'll get. Yeah, that would six give points. me majority. Dang it. Okay, um, so. and I get. Well, oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Okay, so. I don't know, it's going to be pretty close. All right, I just want to make sure I'm doing all the steps. I get that one. Okay, now we do... It's only stuck to two towns. You have majority in that. This one, no one, has majority. Quite enough. Does he have it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one I've got. There's three in here. Uh, you are Quinton, actually. You have majority of, uh, he's got it already. Leinster, I've got that one. And Munster, no one. You don't, there's not enough in there, is there? Oh, wait. Yeah, there is. There is, okay. So now we just count the points. Um, we should do these first, and then these are the easiest. And let's see, you get, I don't have any coins, but you, you guys one, do. Two, three, I have five different ones. So you get, so I get the points. player with the most, no, it's not how it works. The player with the most coins gains one point. I have four coins. I have two coins. The person with the active town marker, which is me, scores one point. For every renowned token you have, score one point. I have two. I have two. Yeah, nothing more. Okay. Then. Every face up claim, so I only score eight, so that puts me at 25. You took what? You get nine. Oh, 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Then some points according to the following table. Yeah, I barely scored any on this one. Yeah, I'm in every region but one. One, two, three, four. I only did four, so I only get I one. did five, so a few points. One, I'm in two, seven three. regions. I get seven points. You get one? Yeah. Wasn't enough. Let me see if I got seven points for all one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, nope. even if you didn't take that away. So from Anthony me. won with 35. I was in a close 32. And Quentin was in last at 26. Only because you took my Leinster. Yep. <laughs> I was, I was going to take his away, but it wouldn't have made a difference. Actually, no, you you would have. No. I would have been ahead of you. Yeah. You would have had the six points. Six. I would have had. Actually, I think I would have. I would have beat you. Yeah, I would have won if I'd taken you instead of him. <laughs> All right, can we close. Do it? Uh -huh. So I should have taken that one, but that's too much to calculate. You wouldn't know. I, I knew. You I kept. Know. I knew that. I kept you telling you know. that one. Yeah, I did. So I would have won by one point if I'd taken that instead of this one. But at the time, I it kept felt telling like, you to take Kona. Yeah, but I didn't know what all the end game points would be. Yeah. I, well, didn't, it's easy. I was factoring in the whole. Calculate all yeah, of that. Yeah, me too. That's why I was trying to get as many counts yeah. as possible. I was trying the to get The last round, five. I was calculating everyone's points. So I could have won. <laughs> I just made one wrong move. <laughs> but that feels good. That I didn't think I had a chance at all. So. <laughs> and I would have been ahead of Anthony. Yeah, this game, there's a lot of strategy. It's well balanced. Yeah, it is well balanced. We've really enjoyed this game. I It had been a while since we played our practice game, so I had to kind of remember everything again, but because we play a lot of games, <laughs> but, yeah. but it's easy. It's easy to relearn. Yeah. Um, and if, if this is a game you played often, you wouldn't even need, need the book or anything. You could just... Yeah. This is my favorite midweight game. Yeah. This is a, this is a great game. Yeah. So, um, we will put the product link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, definitely if you like strategy games, this you should definitely and, and it's not like a heavy strategy game like i don't like i i play them but like the risk type games i don't really care to play those that often because it's just they take too long and it just hurts my head there's too much planning like 50 moves ahead and like i just it wears on me after a while. Oh, it's just life story time. and i lose interest <laughs> <laughs> so this is like a lot not a heavy strategy game. It's it's more it's light. I consider it a more lightweight strategy. Yeah. Game. So um, definitely, if you like lighter weight strategy games, you would enjoy this. It's a great family game, not for younger younger kids, but Quentin's twelve. So if you have you know teenagers, maybe even like ten or eleven year old plus, this would be a great game that they would be able to understand. Um, so definitely a great game. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our video. Please give us a like. Please share our video. Um, comment. It helps us. Um, if you share them, of course, it helps more people to discover our channel. Um, if you're not already, please subscribe. We're so excited. We finally reached the 3,000 subscriber milestone. So yeah. thank you very much for everyone that subscribed to us. It's very exciting. Um, and we hope you enjoyed this. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.